So here we go guys, into Goodwill. It's around 10, 30, 10, 45 in the morning, I think. So I wanna try and make sure I come here around the same time every day, just to get consistent results. So let's see if that makes a difference. I mean, we won't know until day five, six or seven, but let's see. Oh no, this is a squeaky cart. We do not use squeaky carts. This cart's horrible, we'll just take this one. All right, so that's new. Glass case has been emptied, completely emptied. So maybe we'll see it fill up throughout the week. Let's hope it does, because that's not a good sign. Let's see what we got over here. All right, I always like to look at the movies first, and this is gonna be a good guide to see how much this changes throughout the week, because I could do a quick look, and I was here about a week ago, and a lot of these same movies were here, so I don't know what's new or not, I've never seen that before. I doubt it's worth anything, but what we're gonna do is just look through all of these real quick, see if we find anything. All right, taking a look at the electronics because I didn't see anything in the media. Found a couple Guitar Hero guitars down here. Let's see, PlayStation, darn. PlayStation ones need a dongle. If they don't have a dongle, it's not really worth it. And you can see how loose that, uh, Bar, that whammy bar is down there moving around. Uh, $4. Uh, this is a Rock Band 1 guitar because it has this yellow neck instead of a brown neck. So this is something I'd leave behind. What else do we have over here? This is a guitar here, a live guitar. Uh, these usually aren't worth much. This one's $5. It's harder to tell which console this is for. But these also need dongles for certain consoles, so I'm just gonna leave both of these behind. They're they're not very good. Uh, we have a interesting typewriter there. Nothing cool. Fifteen dollars. We're gonna keep looking. Here we go. This is kind of interesting. We have a cassette recorder. You don't see big ones like this very often. Oh, and it's battery powered. It is Radio Shack brand, which isn't the best. It looks clean in there, so that's nice. Let's see. Uh, open it up. I mean, it looks pretty clean. It's $5 though. What the heck? Okay, so the colors that are half off today, Sunday and Monday, are green and blue. So, got to look for green and blue things. We're going to stick this in the cart for now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up getting it, but we'll see. Sometimes ink can be good, but this looks really old and expired. It's only a dollar. It expired in 2006. It's a little old. I'm going to leave that. There's another. This one expired in 2017. That's a lot newer. This we might stick in the cart and take a look at. Even if it only goes for like eight to ten dollars, it's still not bad. What else do we have over here? Anything else? Anything else? All right, this is definitely a typewriter. Let's see if we could get it open. There we go. Ah, these aren't very good. The electric ones. They don't sell for as much as just the manual ones. And at $20, that's obviously way too high. So let's see, there's gotta be something cool over here. Look at this old VCR. It's a video cassette recorder, but it's really old. I've never seen one like this. We're gonna look this model up because, I mean, I think all VCRs are recorders, <laughs> but uh, this is just, this is just a really cool looking one. Let's see if it's worth anything. So I typed in the model number on the back and there's no results sold, uh, but listed, listed we have this one which yeah i believe it's very similar that's 385 ours is a 365 uh listed for 59 five dollars 30 for parts uh, i'm probably just gonna leave it behind also i don't even see a price on it so huh. if it was like 75 or so i would have grabbed it they're just a pain to ship Let's see oh another electric typewriter not good we have here a blu-ray player blu-ray players are amazing a 4K player would be cool. Here we go. $20 again. Is this another, yeah, another electric one though. Why so many electric ones? That's odd. Huh. What do we have here? Portable DVD player, I think. Yep. These can be good, but this doesn't have a charger. So I'll leave that. Um, 
Oh, here we go. Sealed puzzle for $3. A 3D puzzle. These can be really good. Let's scan this in. All right, just like I thought, $3, not bad. Has a decent rank. Not a super fast seller, but it will sell. $35, make 24 bucks, I pay three. So we're looking at about $21 in profit. Definitely take that. All right, so we found this Sony uh, CD player and radio combo. It's kind of cool. Um, has a plug, so that's nice. Uh, we'll look that up a little more in a little bit, but this thing's kind of interesting. It's only a dollar. It's a Monster Power Center. And I looked it up on eBay, and it sells semi, semi regularly, like once to twice a month. And it's only a dollar, so I might grab that. I gotta see what's listed at the moment. There we go. Um, a lot are listed. Like a lot. Yeah, there might be too many listed. Let's check Amazon. So I snagged it because on Amazon, let's see if we can pull it up again. There it is. Uh, has a pretty good rank. Let's see if we can pull over to the side here. There it is. Has a pretty good rank. I think that's a sub rank, but it has some reviews. There's no used sellers. It's coming at 80, uh, low at 59. So, you know, if we could sell it for 35, I'll be super happy. And it's only a dollar, so why not? Well, this is interesting. Some Imagine Next. Rescue Center, Pirate Ship. Here's another over here. These are $3 each. They sound like they have a lot of pieces though. We'll look these up because these are really cool. So let's see what we got. So I couldn't find them on Amazon, but I did look up on eBay and you could see right here, somebody's selling a lot of three for 50. Um, I'm trying to find this exact wizard tower. I believe it's this right here, but that's a big lot for a hundred. Uh, here's some parts and pieces from wizard tower. Uh, I think that's the tower right there for 80. So, I mean, just a couple of these parts and pieces go for good money. There's somebody that put it on au on auction for some reason, only got $5. So I wouldn't do that. Um, looking at the tower, what we wanna do, we're obviously gonna have to try and open it, but that's what it looks like. It's like a purple tower, there's a castle set. There's a lot of pieces in here. Uh, so I have no idea if it's complete. But I think I could piece it out. Like there's somebody that only sold it for seven for some reason. It's pretty big. I, it's gotta cost more than $8 to ship. I don't know, but then we also have these. So we have a big rescue center, we'll look that up, and a big pirate raider. These ones are $4 each. So I think they're cheap enough to take the risk. Even if I sell them locally for you know 10 to $15 each, I think it could be worth it. But I'm gonna stick them in the cart and see how many pieces are in here. Okay, it actually opened up really easily. So this is cool. We have the little cauldron. We have a bunch of the characters. So that's cool. I think I could just probably honestly lot up all the characters together and get like 10 to $15. So I think it's a no brainer. Uh, I, I can't tell if all the pieces are in here, but I'm gonna stick it in the cart because $3 just seems worth it, even just for the little character pieces. And then uh, if it's not complete, We'll deal with it later. And then I gotta look these ones up. These are bigger, so I imagine they go for more. Let's see. All right, so the rescue center is looking a lot better. Uh, I don't see any characters though. Uh, I don't know if it comes with characters. Oh yeah. Looks like it's supposed to have one policeman and one paramedic guy. I'm not seeing them. It could be in here somewhere. I'll do some more digging. So looking at this one right here, the uh, rescue center. It's missing like two of the cars. It's missing all of the characters. So this is some, this something I definitely leave behind. It's not even halfway complete. Now the pirate ship actually has all the characters and a bunch of extras in there. So this one could be good. I have the other one underneath it. So I don't know, four, five, six, seven dollars. I think that's worth it for the risk. This just not worth it. But I noticed right next to it, look at this. We have a big old matchbox mega rig. Some cool vintage thing. I'm liking it. We're gonna look this up. Hey, it was to Christopher from Santa Claus. I love taking looks at the VHS tapes and look at this. We got a Godzilla 2000. It's a shame somebody wrote on it in Sharpie, but it's still really cool. The back's a little damaged, but I think I'll grab it for a dollar. Make sure it's the right tape in here. And it is. It's a shame somebody wrote all over it, but it might be worth something. I threw this in the car. I can't tell if it's complete, but it's only $4 and the cheapest on Amazon is like 90. Uh, the rank's really high, but 
we'll see what I can do with it. I mean, four dollars, some of these things are just gambles, who knows? <laughs> but I am finding a lot of really cool stuff today. This, um, we'll see what we could do. There's no price tag on it, so hopefully, I get helped out there. We get a price on it, but uh, still looking at some of the VHS tapes, nothing good sealed unless. An American in Paris is sealed. Uh, it's a little ripped in the bottom there. Um, yeah, usually not too much good is sealed. What's this? Eyes of an Angel. John Travolta. Hey, Arachnophobia. I used to love that movie, but that is destroyed. So we'll keep looking. It's a good deal. We got a bunch of furniture marked down to a dollar. That was normally like 45. It's only a dollar for that chair. This whole couch back here. Only a dollar. If you're a furniture flipper, you could definitely grab some of this stuff. Here's a little medicine cabinet for a dollar. It was 20. So it's not bad. It's kind of busted, but I think every single chair is marked at a dollar right now. It's 10 at 60 still, but so that's actually some pretty interesting prices right there. What do we have here? One dollar for this full fold out uh, lounge thing. It's a little rip down there, but. Hey, if you're a furniture flipper, this could be a gold mine. I mean, even if you get 40 bucks for that couch, that's awesome. I found this cool Mickey Mouse vase, vase, planter, planter. But take a look. Selling for yeah, 20, 12, 15, 22, uh, 20 again, plus shipping. Not bad. The only issue, the price. $8. Too much. Goes back on the shelf, which is okay. Uh, we have a few few decent things in the cart right now we got this thing priced at three so not bad and uh, I'm not seeing anything else really but I'm sure there's something I'm missing so I'm gonna do a few more laps and hope we find some cool stuff I decided to come take a look at the books and this is the most interesting one I've ever seen six five one six one seven prime numbers all it is is a book of prime numbers I mean what what? I don't understand. First edition. I mean, obviously before the internet, right? No? TortoiseWrath.com. I don't understand the need for that. Very odd. Not finding uh, too much in the book section, but we do have a bunch of stuff in the cart, which is nice. Looking good, looking good. We'll see what else we can find. All right, guys, I just found something pretty interesting here. A Black & Decker lids off for $5. Here is on Amazon, the exact one, $46. Gonna make 27 minus my five, so 22. And uh, take a look, it does work. Press the button, and the lid comes off. Uh, that brings it up and down. Yeah, works perfectly. So we will snag this, toss it in the cart. Just gotta bubble wrap it, not bad, good to go. Here's a quick, easy sale. This Sony DVD remote right here. Model number RMT D197A. One dollar. Take a look at that. Great rank. Sell them for ten used. Make five. Uh, so I'll make four bucks. Super easy. Easy four dollars. I like finding little smalls like that. Uh, Skip Doctor. Nah. Looking for any other smalls. This cake pop maker might be okay. Let's scan it in. Let's see. Pull up the scanner. What do we got? And nope, <laughs> not even on Amazon. So this is something I believe it's four dollars, but whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, cart's looking pretty full. Yeah, not bad. Uh, like I said, my cart is looking mighty full. I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, I'm just looking up and down the aisles. I've actually been here for quite a while because I want the first day to be You know look everywhere. So my next six days. I'm here. I kind of know what is what and uh, I don't know. I I'm not seeing anything else This could be an interesting little gamble right here. This Pentax easy R for six dollars You could see the prices are all over the place 20, 30, 55, 35, 35, 25, 30, 30, all over the place, but $6, if it works, I opened it up, it looks clean, it needs a new battery, I mean, you could be looking at at least 30 to $40, I don't know though, $6 might be pushing it, because if it doesn't work, then you're just out 6 bucks, 
so that's kind of a shame. What I might do, since I'm gonna be coming back every single day this week, I can buy a battery camera, or I might even have some at my house, or I said battery camera, a camera battery, and I have, I might have some at my house. So what we're gonna do is just stick it down here, and I could come back and uh, put a battery in it and see if it works. So I don't have to worry about buying it right now. So we'll see, if it's still here, it's still here. If not, no big deal. But that could be a fun little experiment later on. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna call it quits here and go over everything in the car. So we are outside, we just left the Goodwill. I'll show you guys everything we picked up in. You know, my expected profit value. I actually have some inventory down there on the ground that I have to uh, make sure I bring inside. We got that puzzle for $3, should make about 20 on it. Got this remote for a dollar, should make about four on it. So we're at about 24. This for $3, a Sony CD slash radio. I gotta test it when I get home. If it works, um, profit around 20, $25. So, you know, about 50-ish dollars right there. Uh, right over here, we got this easy lid release for five. That's another around $20. So we're at about 70 bucks. Then we got these guys right here, the $4 thing, uh, the pirates and that other one down there. Let me take this and, oh, it's really hard to lift with one hand. Let's lift it, let's be super strong. And there we go. Um, I don't know if all the pieces are in here, but even if they're not, I know I could part it out. So I'm not too worried. Uh, the prices obviously vary since I don't know about, um, uh, there we go. Since I don't know about exactly uh, if all the pieces are in there or not, right? So I'm gonna be conservative and be like very nice and just say $10 each, right? So 10, 20, 30. Uh, it could be way more than that, but we'll be low on it. So we're at 50, 60, uh, yeah, right? Uh, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. And then we got these two little things down here. This Godzilla, uh, I'm gonna keep it and watch it first, and then I could sell it if I want. I might make five bucks on it. And then this guy right here, hopefully we get about 30 on him. So we are at about 135 dollars at the low end but i was very conservative on these guys because this thing might not work so that could knock out 20 25 dollars right there um not bad i'm super happy with that i think that's a great first day inside of the goodwill uh we're gonna be here for six more days so we do have hopefully a lot of time to find even better stuff i'm super stoked i've done like i said this series before i will link it so you guys can see it and uh, yeah, time to head out.